Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pragmatic with MarketChameleon.com. I wanted to do another scan using the Naked Put Screener, and we're going to look for options that are either relatively expensive or cheap. And one of the ways to do that is look at the options implied volatility. Of course, the higher the implied volatility, the more expensive the option is. The lower the implied volatility, the less expensive the option is. But every option and every every stock trades at a different implied volatility. Um, some have very high, some have very high implied volatility, which is normal. Some have very low implied volatility, which is normal. And also, even within every stock, the implied volatility can vary based on the strikes, um, how far away the strikes are from that, the money. Sometimes the, the strikes going up, uh, start decreasing in implied volatility. The strikes going down increase implied volatility and also even by expiration. And really to get a sense of if you're looking for a particular put, what you want to do is compare the implied volatility, for example, this put with 17 trading days to go and with the stru strike uh, this far away from the stock price. How does that, how does today's implied volatility compare to historical implied volatility levels in the same option? So uh, then, then what you do is to see how high or low it is, you get a percentile rank. And over here, 50th percentile rank means that historically 50% of the observations were below the current level and 50% above. So it's like right in the middle here. And let's do a scan and we're going to go to the options changes to look at the data here. I'm going to really quickly, I'm just going to look at next 30 days options and let's look for stocks that are uh, a little bit higher market cap. So I'm going to use 20 billion our market cap and then it scanned out all of these and let's first look for something where the implied volatility is elevated and here's the IV percentile rank and we'll look for either elevated or above a certain amount but let's just pick above 90 percentile rank which means that not over here 96 percent of the observation observations historically were below the current level and sometimes the implied volatility will be justified to be very high like for example earnings which is in this case or um or you know if the markets are are very volatile then sometimes it's justified you know other times they'll be very low just because nothing's going on the market is is settled but this gives you a good reference point and let's just take one here for example this is 96 percentile rank it's going to come out with earnings so we kind of expect it but let's just look at the data and if you click here on the uh, expiration will take us to the options chain here and this will go to dish and it'll auto select that option for us so let's see which put it was it was the 42 August 23 42 and a half put so it was really this put so here's the 97th percentile rank and we're gonna open this up to look at the data and here here's the historical data all these dots are where the implied volatility was historically so here's the here, here we go, past observations for puts that are 22 days to expiration and 0% away from the spot price. So this is basically right at, at the money. Um, and as you could see here, this orange line here, that's where the current implied volatility is, around 50, between here, 52.6, 57.5. That's where the current implied volatility is. That's the 97th percentile because... The historical observations you could see here going back 97 percent were below this line three percent were above you could see over here this is the average implied volatility this is the median implied volatility here is the low in our observations and the high from 26 to 65 so you could see a range and a lot of times then this helps out to um, scan for either you're looking for uh, high implied volatility options or low implied volatility options and that's how you would um, use this scanner to really quickly scan out either low or very high. On the on the flip side, we could go to very low and say maybe below 10 percentile. So this will show us very low implied volatility levels inputs. Um, and just hopping back here 
Another thing some people like to do is, for example, earnings are coming out and they, and you kind of want to see, well, what, what do I expect the implied volatility to fall back to after earnings? So right now it's 52. Then you have these points here as references that this particular option tended to trade an average 38.4 volatility, the median is 36.7. So you kind of get um, a reference point there where it might fall back to, you know, after after earnings are reported. Um, so that's how you would use the IV percentile rank filter here in this naked put screener. Uh, hopefully this was helpful, everyone, and see you next video.